Training camp's on its way, and I know just like you guys, I am super pumped. I want to talk about my top three position battles that is going to happen this uh, training camp this summer. So let's talk about it. you guys it's your boy brandon and i guess the first group the um, first pairing i want to talk about is is a pretty easy one i'm going to go ahead and talk about our battle at left tackle we're going to go ahead and have andre dillard and jordan mailata go ahead and battle it out there now i posted this one on the instagram and one person said it's probably gonna be jason peters and you know what it just might be i mean who knows jason peterson jason peters is out there and we might bring him in if one person goes down or something like that to come play guard and next thing you know he's going to be at that left tackle spot but no for real i i do believe that andre dillard he hasn't had a real fair shake with this team just yet we went ahead drafted him in the first round and since then i mean when he was drafted we did have jason peters and then right when it became andre dillard's time we, we start to learn that he was having temper tantrums throwing his helmet yeah, getting upset maybe even crying out there on the field and then when it was his turn to finally get that start he gets hurt and doesn't play the whole season and that opened the door right for jordan Mailata, the guy that Honestly, I think the Eagles just took because you, they were just like, you know what, maybe we can get him in on a trick play on the goal line or something just because of his rugby background. But last season, he really showed out and he stepped up in a way that, I mean, nobody expected. The guy never played football and then he was expected to go in there and play well. And I, for the most part, I think we can all agree that he did his job. I mean, was he the best? No. But this was a giant learning curve and it was a great season to have a, a whole like planning experience and learning how to play um, just because of how bad we were. So, I mean, if you're going to learn, that's the time to learn. So I do believe that Jordan Maialata might get that chance to go ahead and take that starting role. I know uh, there was one picture that Lane Johnson posted where he looked like he was running with the first team offensive line. But don't don't think Howie's not thinking man I'm not trying to waste the first round pick either in Andre Dillard so I think that's going to be an interesting battle this summer another battle that I think is going to be interesting is that cornerback two slot now we have obviously Darius Slay starting and then we have Avante Maddox Avante Maddox now I wrote down the names for the other cornerbacks on this team because there is a lot of them and you're probably gonna be like who who are these guys so i mean we have josiah scott zek mcpherson who's a rookie shaquille taylor kevon seymour craig james michael jacquette and lavert hill now if you guys didn't see it joe already interviewed and got the opportunity to interview michael jacquette if you didn't see that interview go ahead and make sure you check that out because it is phenomenal but he he's a guy that we saw him come out last year and he's i think he's a top tallest cornerback on our team and he played well against the cardinals and then they gave him his shot against the dallas cowboys and they he really got exposed for you know just not having the experience out there and what like i said for jordan Mailata, that was a good time to kind of get your feet wet i mean we weren't going anywhere last season so all these young guys should have had an opportunity especially toward the end of the season to really learn how to play so i think he has a shot to go up against avante maddox i mean if we go ahead and get a guy like nelson off the free agency then we can push all this away and be like all right we got Nelson at corner two, we got Darius at corner one, and then Avante and Maddox like in the slot. But we don't. As of right now, we don't. So we're going to have to roll with what we got. Avante Maddox, this is his job to lose. He's the veteran amongst these guys. I think that a guy like Michael Jaquette with his size can go ahead and maybe take that spot from him and get Avante Maddox um, into the slot. And I know we all have our skepticism. We're skeptical. 
How about that? We're skeptical about Avante Maddox. To me, I believe he wasn't given a fair chance. I think that he was asked to do too much during his short time here on the Eagles. He's been safety. He's been outside corner. He's been playing slot. He's injured and then comes back and then does all does it all again. He hasn't had a chance to really sit down and really hone in and focus on just the one spot. He's been asked to do so much. And I think that was similar with like Jalen Mills, who's not on this team anymore. They were asked to do a lot of things instead of you just being like, you know what? You're a cornerback too. We'll figure that out. You go ahead, practice that. We'll get the slot. We'll get the safety and everything like that. It was awesome that he got the chance to do all that and we needed it with injuries. But I want to see him focus in one spot and let other guys work in others. So, like I said, I think Avante Maddox has the opportunity to go ahead and take that spot and it's his to lose. But I just listed off an army of backup cornerbacks. So, who knows? It's definitely going to be interesting to watch. And then my last one was one I also posted on our Instagram was Derek Barnett and Josh Sweat. Now, this is a battle that I find really interesting because I feel like in the end, we need both of these players to go out and show out this season because Brandon Graham's getting old. We just brought in Ryan Kerrigan, who's pretty old himself. Like those guys are on their last legs and we're gonna need some fresh legs. And I know that Derek Barnett's gonna, this is his fifth year option. He's gonna want a contract and so he's gonna be playing big. But unless we're gonna go ahead and try to get a pass rusher, edge rusher in the, in the draft, we're going to have to go ahead and try to rock with maybe both of these guys. But in the, in this battle right here, I'm going to go ahead and say, I mean, if you're looking at the stats, even just this past season, uh, Derek Barnett started 10 games compared to Josh's, Josh Sweat's uh, three games. And yet their stats are very similar. I think Josh Sweat has a half sack more than um, Derek Barnett. And then I think Joshua also had three forced fumbles. Derek Barnett didn't have any, and their tackles were similar. So you got a guy who didn't start, he started seven less games than um, our first round pick in Derek Barnett and still had either better or similar stats to him. So I think Josh Sweat is coming into his own. I know that uh, when he was in college, he was actually one of, he was deemed one of the top edge rushers until his injuries started to come in. And this was a guy that the Eagles took a chance on. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of funny that Howie Roseman went ahead and said, we're not going to, we're not gonna draft players because of their injury history and that stuff like that, but then we go ahead and draft players anyways, outside of everyone besides DK Metcalf. Apparently that was his excuse for DK and nobody else that we picked up. So it is what it is, but I think that's gonna be a tough battle. Like I said, I might want both of them to show out just because we might need to keep both of them in the future. Unless, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and draft another edge rusher next year. But I'm gonna go ahead and say Josh Sweat. I think he has the edge. I think he wants it more and he might just overall be a better player. It is what it is. Sometimes those first round picks, they hit and they don't hit. And the later round picks, they hit better. So um, we're gonna, that's what I wanted to talk about with you guys today. If you guys like this kind of content, make sure you guys like, subscribe. Once again, if you guys didn't check out that Michael Jaquette interview, make sure you go check it out. Joe did a phenomenal job. But till next time, peace. Thanks for tuning in.